क्वेश्चन इज कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ फोर बाई फाइव प्लस कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन इक्वल टू कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ थर्टी थ्री बाई सिक्सटी फाइव नाउ लेट एस कंसिडर कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ फोर बाई फाइव एस ए एंड कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन एस बी सो फुट ए इक्वल टू कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ फोर बाई फाइव एंड बी इक्वल टू कॉस इनवर्स ऑफ ट्वेल्व बाई थर्टीन now if i bring this cos to lhs it will become cos of a equal to 4 by 5 and cos of b equal to 12 by 13 now we got cos a and cos b we need to find sin a and sin b for that we will use the formula we know that sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 use this formula to find sin a and sin b now sin a equal to root of 1 minus cos square a or we can write root of 1 minus we know cos a so cos square a is 4 by 5 the whole square when you equate this you get sin a equal to 3 by 5 you got sin a now to find sin b you can apply the same formula again so sin b equal to root of 1 minus cos square b so root of 1 minus cos b is 12 by 13 so 12 by 13 the whole square so sin b equal to so you get 5 by 13 so now we have cos a cos b sin a sin b we know the trigonometric formula cos a plus b equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b now put the values for cos a cos b and sin a sin b in this formula so we get uh, cos a cos a is 4 by 5 into cos b is 12 by 13 minus 3 by 5 that is sin a into sin b is 5 by 13 so what we get is 48 by 65 minus 15 by 65 which is equal to cos of a plus b equal to 33 by 65 now a plus b equal to we can bring this cos to rhs so it will become cos inverse of 33 by 65 now we got the rhs now initially we had substituted cos inverse of 4 by 5 as a and cos inverse of 12 by 13 as b so replace it now cos inverse of 4 by 5 plus b is nothing but cos inverse of 12 by 13 which is equal to cos inverse of 33 by 65 this is the answer hence root